Saving money for a rainy day is a smart and responsible habit. However, seldom few take that approach when it comes to managing their finances. To those people and to others watching, allow us to take you through the concept of a Nidhi company and how forming one can help you and your community. So let's start with what exactly is a Nidhi company. It is a company classified as an NBFC, a non-banking financing company and registered under Section 406 of the Companies Act 2013. The main business of such a company is to facilitate money lending between the co-members of the company. This way, the members or shareholders are encouraged to save money and invest them within the company as deposits. These deposits are then used by the company for its members to provide loans or advances and to acquire government-issued stocks, bonds, debentures or securities. It is regulated by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs while the RBI monitors all financial dealings. Now, before forming a Nidhi company, there are a few basic requirements. 1. A minimum of 7 members is required to start a Nidhi company, out of which 3 members must be the directors of the company. However, it should acquire a minimum of 200 members within 1 year of commencement. 2. A minimum of 5 lakh rupees is required as the equity share capital to start a Nidhi company. This entire amount has to be paid up. However, within 1 year of registration, the net owned funds should be 10 lakh rupees or more. This includes equity share capital and free reserves and excludes accumulated losses as well as intangible assets. 3. Unencumbered term deposits or unused term deposits must be 10% or higher of the outstanding deposits. 4. The ratio of net owned funds to deposits shouldn't be more than 1 is to 20 where 10% of the total deposits are in a fixed deposit account of a nationalized bank. Now to register a Nidhi company, the directors of the company are required to submit a few documents. They are self-attested copies of their PAN card, self-attested copies of their driver's license, voter's ID, Aadhaar card or their passport, self-attested copies of their bank statement, telephone bill, mobile bill or electricity bill, passport size photograph, a specimen signature certificate. The procedure to register a Nidhi company involves two main processes. The first is applying for a DSC or a digital signature certificate. A minimum of three directors must apply for a DSC, which is necessary to file the Nidhi company registration documents. It takes approximately eight business days to complete this process. The next step involves applying for the company name. This happens after the directors apply for the DSC. They apply for the company name and then submit the rest of the incorporation documents. Altogether, this can take up to 14 business days depending on whether all the documents are in order. There are several advantages to starting a Nidhi company. For one, it is cheaper to borrow from. As a member, one can borrow money at a minimum rate relative to the rate at which banks lend money. A Nidhi company also encourages more savings. It is a mutually beneficial society that encourages all its members to save money and invest it within the company as deposits. Finally, there are fewer complications in borrowing and lending money in a Nidhi company. This is because this service is exclusive to the members of this organization. For this reason, borrowing and lending is more flexible and less complicated in a Nidhi company in comparison to other financial institutions.